Our first stop here at the ARL is at the Rescue Ranch, and I've got Josh Colvin here to give us a little bit more info. Hi, Josh. What can you tell me about the space that we're in right now? So this is the Rescue Ranch, and uh, the Animal Rescue League is all about second chances. And so this is a great space for our horses and other types of livestock. Very good. Um, what kinds of animals are currently in the Rescue Ranch? Well, right now we have horses and we have potbelly pigs and some chickens. Oh, very good. Uh, what is this beautiful animal's name? Can you tell me a little bit of, more about her? Yeah, uh, Sierra is an interesting story. Um, it's actually one that we help with in uh, Warren County. And the uh, interesting part about that whole thing is that uh, we had two different locations of people neglecting horses, unfortunately. Oh. So, you know, so we ended up having to, uh, to go down and we assisted the sheriff's department and she was actually pregnant at the time uh, and being neglected at the same time. So she was able to, to have her baby and um, so she, you know, had it here and, and we raised the, the baby up for, uh, for adoption. So Very good. And is she no longer here? Is the baby no longer here? Uh, right, uh, yep, yep, been adopted, and so now we're just waiting for an adoption from mom. Very good. How do most of the animals here arrive at the rescue ranch? Um, so th most of them actually come that have been neglected, been through some really horrendous uh, situations. Um, so we deal with, uh, you know, the, the entire state of Iowa um, where people can actually call and be, you know, call us in, law enforcement can call us in, mm -hmm. and uh, we try to work with law enforcement to, you know, get through those situations, and then if we end up having to take those animals, we have this wonderful space uh, to be able to, to house them and, and, and work on them. So this is a barn, and it's a pretty big space from what I can see. How many animals can you fit in this area? Well, quite a few. Um, you know, it's it's got its limitations, obviously. That's where our volunteers come in, which is, is nice. So. You know, if we do have a big case where we end up having a lot of different animals, you know, we rely on volunteers. But this is a good uh, space to work with them. We have a lot of volunteers, good staff to really work on these animals to, um, to get them up for adoption. But it does, it, sometimes it's a long road to get them there. Right. How does the ARL Cruelty Intervention Program kind of help these animals along? So, so we go through the court system. Um, so our job is to basically, you know, present the case and make the case and help law enforcement have this case so the people may not, may or may not be able to get these animals back, mm -hmm. depending on the circumstances. Um, sometimes we run into situations where people just got over their head, right? Right. So in those cases, we work with them, and it could be just, you know, especially in the livestock and you know, that they can't afford the hay, all right? So we're gonna be able to help them, you know, maybe get through a really rough winter. To the other extreme where we have animals that, you know, these, these folks should probably not even have animals. Right. And those are the situations that are pretty heartbreaking. And, you know, when we end up having to take those animals and go through the court system, then that's where we kick in. And we help the law enforcement make a good case because uh, we are considered the experts in these type of situations. Uh, work with law enforcement to start to finish. And then after that, uh, you know, then we can really do a lot of great work for these animals to get them to where they need to be. So what other types of animals are taken care of in the cruelty intervention program? So we've talked a lot about the livestock, but we also deal with uh, domestic animals as well. Uh, give you an example, um, Sandyville this year, mm -hmm. uh, we had to deal with pretty horrendous situation with dogs um, and it was a really bad situation to a point where it really affected a lot of staff here too. Yeah. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, this was considered a rescue so animals and or dogs were actually coming from a lot of different places to this one location where they really trusted that somebody was going to be taking care of those animals and of course that was not the case. Very good. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about the Rescue Ranch and everything that it has to offer. When we come back, we're headed in to talk to Tom Colvin about the Animal Rescue League of Iowa's Medical Suite. Stay with us.